Yeah. Yeah, I, I have heard about the Trigon 6. As you may recall, I made a controversial statement in a video where I talked about having just purchased the Polybrute, about how I was keeping the Prophet 6 because to me, the Prophet 6 just sounds better when it comes straight down to the core oscillators and filters. But the Polybrute has some real advantages when it comes to modulation and performance. This is not going to be a comprehensive comparison. I just wanna show you a couple of things that differentiate these two synthesizers and why I still have both of them, even though when I bought the Polybrute, I was thinking, well, maybe I can sell the Prophet 6, but I, I don't think I can sell the Prophet 6. So I'll do a little bit of just listening to the raw oscillators with the filter. So I'm gonna open up just an init patch on the Polybrute. If you're wondering, I am sending MIDI from the Polybrute to control the Prophet 6 desktop. So don't get confused. We are going back and forth between. I'll do something in the video to make it clear which synth I'm playing. This is the Polybrute. Init patch. Buzzy sawtooth wave on oscillator one. Now the Prophet 6, just oscillator one. Filter is open. It just has a little bit more guts in the low mids, I think. If we do a sweep on the Prophet 6 with just about, I don't know, a quarter resonance. It is just smooth as butter and has a real creamy quality to it that even the ladder filter on the Polybrute does not possess, in my opinion. Same thing, quarter resonance, filter closed. It's not bad. We also have the ability to drive the distortion. So I've heard a lot of people say that that just sounds like crap on the Polybrute, and I don't agree with that at all. It sounds fine to me. And honestly, with all of the modulation options that you have and the ability to craft sounds in the Polybrute, it's less important to me that it just sounds incredible. It sounds good to me. The Prophet 6 sounds incredible. Let's get an ARP going with a little bit of a filtery pluck. I think we'll be able to tell the difference a bit more then. the Prophet 6. So let's try that through the Steiner Parker filter of the Polybrute and see what that sounds like. Make sure it's in low pass and give it a little bit of pluckiness. You can also change a setting in the filter envelope to make it snappier, make the attack and decay more percussive. And of course we have the brute factor which can make it almost scream a bit like an MS-20. Especially when you apply resonance. So that is a 12 dB filter. This is a 24 dB filter. 
The great thing is we can route them in series or parallel and route various oscillators wherever we want or through both of them. And that opens up some more sound design possibilities as well. Now, since it is not quite fair to compare the effects on the Polybrute to the Prophet 6, I'm going to run the Prophet 6 through a little bit of the black hole reverb in my DAW and uh, show you what that sounds like in a little bit of space. So this should be kind of similar. The only difference will be that instead of using a little bit of post reverb, uh, because the reverb not very good on the Prophet 6, we do have a very good reverb here in the Polybrute, so I'm going to be using that.
based purely on sound, Prophet 6 wins hands down in my opinion. But if you notice, there's a whole section of the Polybrute we haven't even touched, and it's one of the most powerful things about this synth. So in the next video, I'm gonna talk about the advantages that the Polybrute has over the Prophet 6. So if you'd like to learn more about how I make patches and the basics of subtractive synthesis and how to use those to make your own patches, uh, you can download a free 20 minute walkthrough uh, kind of workshop that is totally free. It'll be the first link in the description. I'm gonna show you how to use that to make the Polybrute really shine. In the next video, it's gonna eventually be linked right here. You can hit subscribe if you wanna see that. Like the video if you got anything out of this one and would like to help me out with the algorithms. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.